Hello and welcome to the SciFest Movie Talk episode. So in this episode, I will be discussing the 2019 animated adventure, The Playmobil Movie, as directed by Lino DiSalvo, and as the name might suggest, based on the popular brand of toys of the same name. So the movie introduces us to Marla Brenner, as played by Anya Taylor-Joy, who, after recently graduating, is looking forward to expanding her horizons and travelling the world on a grand adventure, before taking that next step with her education. Along with her younger brother, Charlie, as played by Gabriel Bateman, she plucks up the courage to tell her parents of her plans. But sadly, tragedy, tragedy strikes when both their parents are killed leaving both Marla and Charlie to quickly come to terms with looking after each other, with Marla putting off her adventures behind her in favour of providing a life for her and Charlie. But one faithful evening, after a massive argument, Charlie runs away and finds refuge in a nearby convention hall, where a Playmobil display is being held. Marla follows after and both soon find themselves zapped into the world of Playmobil, where their adventures are as big and wondrous as imagination itself. Once on the other side, Marla teams up with the greedy layabout uh, Dell, as voiced by Jim Gaffin, uh, Gaffigan, sorry, and the master of disguises, the debonair spy Rex Dasher, as voiced by Daniel Radcliffe, um, to go on a mission to save her brother, um, who does end up getting lost um, as uh, or kidnapped, if you like, in within the movie taking them from the time of the Vikings to the wonders of the Wild West through ancient Rome, with even perhaps a couple of dinosaurs thrown in for good measure. So, the first thing, of course, uh, for anybody watching this, is that this movie is certainly a grab for the Playmobil name to cash in on the success of the exceedingly successful Lego Movie franchise. Choosing to emulate the style of the Lego movies um, in a number of ways, presenting a very similar feel in terms of its animation and its comedic style. Now, I wasn't a Playmobil kid growing up. I was firmly in the Lego camp. I can appreciate just how popular the beloved toy actually is. From 1974 onwards, Playmobil has given children and adults alike a way to kind of feed their creativity with a range of toys featuring characters from pirates to Romans, from business types to holiday makers, and indeed including a number of different franchises from Scooby-Doo to Ghostbusters and even Back to the Future. Indeed, Playmobil is one of LEGO's biggest competitors, and so it would only make sense that they would try and compete with them on the feature film front, right? Well, Playmobil movie was actually a box office bomb upon its release, and many critics did indeed slate it, um, especially for its similarities to the LEGO movie, of course, um, and its perceived lack of originality. Now, for me, um, going into this with very little in the way of expectations, I must admit, I knew nothing about it. Um, as a family movie to enjoy with younger children, perhaps, it's not all that bad. And, and I did find the whole experience quite enjoyable. It reminded me of the adventure movies of the 1980s, you know? Those like Flight of the Navigator, The NeverEnding Story, Time Bandits, Labyrinth, you know? And okay, no, so it didn't carry the same style as those movies. They are in completely different league altogether. It did have the same energy and that same kind of sense of adventure. And indeed, their cheesy appeal, you know? I thought it was actually quite quirky for what it was. Um, and I thought it explored the kind of colourful and the varied world of Playmobil extraordinarily well. Of what I know about the brand um, and the toys themselves, you know, it did have quite a bit of imagination, even if it wasn't always coherent as a result. But I think that's really kind of in keeping with the ethos of the product it was based upon. It was actually quite interesting learning about the history of, of Playmobil as I kind of swap it up for this review as I do. Quite the process involved in, in manufacturing. I must admit that I'd never really given it a second thought. I mean, I've been to the Lego factory, not Lego factory, but um, like a, a, a 
uh, well, I don't know how to explain it. I'm getting tongue twisted here, but yeah, it showed you the Lego process. It wasn't quite the Lego factory. It's the Lego fun fun factory, if you like. Um, it showed, introduced little kids to the process, and that is quite ingenious how they do that. But having to have to think about the thought process that went into Playmobil is actually quite ingenious. But I suppose for many watching the film, you know, this film isn't really going to give anybody the motivation to find out, you know. But I was quite interested, nonetheless, um, as I always am. However, one thing I did find was Playmobil's perceived attention to detail and even historical accuracy. One thing that the film failed to convey. I thought, upon reflection, the characters showed many traits of being Playmobil plastic characters. You know, stiff limbs, clumsy, the, you know, their opposability. Um, but once they kind of got into the film, um, for the sake of the film, they started to be much more human, uh, like, uh, for the sake of convenience, which then gave the film a more generic feel, I, I feel, rather than kind of really making the most of what Playmobil had to offer, making it truly unique, you know? I think this was certainly an, a lost opportunity, it really was. For the most part, the detail and the animation, would they were on point. Um, that much is certainly true, you know, there's some time and effort that had gone into making this movie. The animation being very vivid, but nothing that I hadn't really seen before. Um, it was indeed detailed enough, uh, for, but for this feature, perhaps a little too detailed. Um, given again, Playmobil are plastic figures. The movie also boasts a number of songs in the main, sung by Megan Trainer and Adam Lambert, um, who also play characters in the film. And whilst being able to kind of belt them out to their usual standard, I just didn't really care too much for them, you know, personally. They seemed a little bit clumsy to me, the way that they were put together, a little bit more haphazard and quite atonal at times. They weren't catchy. Most of the time, it, it kind of just did seem like talking with music. There was nothing really that catchy um, with them, and most just seemed to kind of come out the blue. It felt forced um, in that respect, I must admit. The story um, also didn't set anything alight in, in much respect. It was very standard fare um, and cookie cut, all in all. There wasn't as much flair as perhaps there could have been. But in the spite of all of this, it still had enough imagination and substance to offer its own kind of quirky experience, all told. I think initially, the fact that this was Playmobil put me off. Um, never mind the negative reviews, Playmobil is aimed at younger children, and so I thought this would be a kid's film through and through, out and out, you know? But it tried to offer something for a wider audience, especially those who had kind of perhaps grown up with the brand, and although it did stumble along the way, um, I don't think it deserves all the hate it got. And to be fairly certain, you know, to be fair certain, uh, you know, it deserved to succeed at least a little bit more than it did. It's not a terrible movie, just not a wholly original one. Overall, um, as, as for as generic as this actually ended up, for as similar as it was, of course, to the far superior Lego movie franchise, and for as much as it did bomb upon its release, I couldn't hate this. I can't. It was still a thoroughly enjoyable experience for me and a fantastic family movie. It wasn't perhaps as true to the Playmobil legacy as it could have been from what I can think, um, but in the end it still captured the essence of the brand's imagination and distinctly unique style of, of play, you know, giving us an adventure that I thought showcased the creativity of, you know, that, that Playmobil is all about. A bit of nonsensical, light-hearted and extremely colourful entertainment. So, that brings me to the end of this episode. Many thanks for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like. Please do hit that subscribe button for more movie reviews, trailer reactions and other movie-related content. Absolutely loved having here at SciFest Movie Talk and definitely love to have you back. But most of all, just thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.